Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them yourself. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Excuse me, but I have got a frog in my throat I cannot get out. But welcome to the kit order stash and today we are going to look at this little kit from Glencoe Models. It's called Westward Ho. We've got a covered wagon and we've got a stagecoach. They're both in HO scale. So let's check this out. Yes, this has been out for quite some time. I don't know, and I've never heard of it before, but um, it's 1 90th scale, which is a little tiny bit small for HO. HO is 187. Not enough to really cause any stink. But we're going to open this thing up and take a look at it. But first off, here's this end of the box and this end of the box first off we got the instructions here for the covered wagon Pretty easy and straightforward. A couple of oxen, it looks like. And here's the stagecoach. Two sides, the seat, the little, the little dude, the suspension, the cradle for it, the brakes, and getting your horses on there. So you know, not a whole lot to it. Ought to be kind of a fun little build, but. This ought to go really good on what I'm doing with my uh, with my model railroad. So wanted that old western theme. There we go. First off, looks like we got the ends of the wagon here, and our oxen, and their horns, and our little teamster dude. Okay, there's those. And even in HO scale, these horses look a little bit off, but, but who knows. So we got well, part of it here, I'm not sure which part, but the seat, the horses, and our driver there. We got a ground base, nice little texture to it, and your wagon wheels, and the stagecoach body, which has some pretty nice little detail to it for HO scale. Oh, and the covered wagons themselves. Or wagon, I should say. And that looks pretty good. And it comes with a base as well. So we're going to get started. The yoke here. Always enjoy a good yoke. Oh yeah, there's a rifle. It's got a rifle molded on there. That's, that's pretty cool. So we're going to get started on this. Should be a pretty quick and easy build. And let's see how these turn out, shall we? Let's start this thing. It's actually very easy as you can see. It shows these four steps, but yeah, this the construction on this is, you know, 30 40 minutes. But let me just tell you on part number 2 where it shows G and H and how they're supposed to match up, the instructions aren't clear as to where they actually go. Other than that, you know, I figured it out the best I could. So for the color, I decided to use this same dark shadow uh flesh tint that I had used on some of my pirate ships. I think it's going to give me that reddish brown that I really want on the stagecoach. Now for the other colors, um, 
don't pay any attention to the sand. I didn't use it on here. But this uh, Floquil Railroad rust, I mixed or I used some of that for the undercarriage part. And you can see here the rust on the undercarriage, kind of a rusty brown color. And then uh, some gold highlights on this. Just painted the horses black for now. I'm not done. I've obviously got to finish up a few things, but that's uh, that's where it's at right now. So moving on to the wagon, the covered wagon, it actually went together, I think, a whole lot better. Um, it really is simple to build and put together. Maybe 30 minutes getting this thing together. I used my tester's black label glue to... Uh, to put it together. For the color of the wagon I used some uh, testers uh, burnt sienna that I had and I mixed that up with some of that uh, railroad color rust uh, to get the brown that I really wanted for the body of it and then for the covered part I used some of this sand mixed with a little bit of white to give me kind of a light buff color. You can see the paint's still wet here. I haven't clear coated it yet, but this is uh, how it is so far. So anyway, I hope this is something you guys liked. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on The Stash.